Hey guys, what's up? Cardmaster Phoenix here. For any guys, another, I guess, doing but community shout out is what this is becoming. Um, I wasn't expecting this to become more than just a one off, a one off, uh, kind of video series, but now it might become a video series. But anyway, um, I just wanted to go ahead and bring you guys in a video, another video. Because I I feel like it's kind of my duty as a YouTuber to shout out people that make my experience overall as a YouTuber better whenever I can. So I guess this is basically my way of kind of helping out the community that helped me out so much. So anyway, um, this one is going to be on, I hope I'm, I really hope I'm not butchering his name. Entities, 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 something like that. Um, so it starts off as general as it always is. Just go up, have fun, you tune my dude, okay? And it's like, uh, so in game one, this is a best of three, by the way. Um, I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and use drone and machine dupe to get two more out, and then of course, I go into um, decode after calling spell, and I summon out this guy, um, it should be said that I wasn't able to use a single copy of Double Helix throughout all three games, purely because he opened up with Ash Blossom every single game, I mean, it's, it was ridiculous, um, I mean, it was, and you can tell this is not just an Ultra Guys deck, but an anti-meta Ultra Guys, because he's running cards like Prohibition, he's running cards like uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, and he, he's also running stuff like Paleozoics in here, um, and we'll get into this a bit later, but uh, I'm, I'm going to assume his entire extra deck is comprised of like ABC Dragon Buster, Double Helix, Tree Toad, um, which he actually goes into, by the way, um, I mean, yeah, it, it's awesome, it really, it really, really is awesome, just the sheer amount of creativity this guy puts forth in his deck, so I just, that plus just how amazing as a player and a human being this guy is, I feel, is why I'm making this video, um, so he changed that, and he, uh, and I try going in the firewall, but of course I'm an idiot, and, um, I'm using 3 instead of 4, so I go into decode instead, um, and he says, uh, okay, and then he's like, okay, I'm like, sure, and then he pays 500, and, I uh, just, you know, uh, he waits for a bit and says, sorry, his cat, um, my cat made in my room, which is why I, I assume he's got this cat portfolio avatar or whatever, uh, as, is kind of like, uh, I guess, well, as his avatar, um, do that, or he's just a big fan of Rescue Cat Duelist, <laughs> anyway, um, Spire Creation, uh, I, oh my god, wow, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I just looking at the chat and I see the name of the player rather than the uh, commentating on the actual, <laughs> on the actual duel. Wow, I'm just, I'm just an idiot when I'm when I don't have my coffee with me. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so he's just like, yeah, we're just playing for a bit, and uh, and he's like. And I use the effect, and I'm gonna go ahead and my resort effect, okay. And um, I really like how he is explaining his cards. Um, it's just basically your tank directly instead. Um, I, I just really like that. Um, for one, uh, for those of you wondering why I have so many notifications about me, just putting counters on things, whenever I equip a card with a uh, monster, a monster with a card of any type, um, 
I always put one counter for each respective card that that's being used for. For example, if I were to use Axe of Despair on... Or actually, let me just use the real world example that I had going on here. Um, Spiral Super Agent and Fully Armed, I put one counter of each of those to show that Fully Armed is equipped Super Agent. I put two copies of a counter on Sleeper because he was being equipped at Last Resort. And that's just, that's just kind of how it works uh, whenever I'm playing a game to help me keep up with who's equipped with what. Um, targeting Silk. Uh, and that's just him uh, declaring the effect again. It's a very good thing. He's second and targeting sleeper. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, um, here's where I actually really start kind of connecting with this guy. Besides the fact that he's just overall awesome, as you can see, um, I actually am on the autism spectrum. Um, just in case you guys didn't know, uh, just kind of. I, I, I was going to do a draw my life, as pathetic as that is, but A, it's kind of over, I, A, it's, I, I can't draw for crap, and B, I mean, it's just kind of a dumb idea anyway, so I figured, why not knock out two birds from one stone, um, by just admitting to you guys, that, yeah, I, 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 I am on the autism spectrum, and at the same time, uh, shouting this guy out for being as amazing as he is, um, there's that, um, and of course, he's got Insomniac, I believe, Insomniac, yeah, I believe that's how it is, he's got ADHD, I feel like, bro, and terrible anxiety, again, part of the autism spectrum, or at least part of, I believe that's Asperger's, uh, that gives you, uh, anxiety, especially when I'm being cr around a crowd, I'm not, Completely sure, but um, that's, I believe that's the one that cor correlates with uh, anxiety. Um, being on class, you like, don't worry about it, and you got it. I'm like, yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, fam, I feel you. All right, and then uh, I'm like, resort, true, sorry, I'm like, no problem. And then uh, he has to target resort because he tries targeting my super agent or whoever it was back in game one. Keep in mind, this is a 42-minute game or something. I, I don't know how long this game was. It was it, it was incredibly long. Um, kind of like something else I know. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this this is just this is this entire video is just going downhill. Um, so I'm just like uh, resort, and he's like uh, and he's like oh man, crap, I forgot you got resort up. And he's like okay, and I had to target resort, and I'm like, I was just like okay. Another interesting thing is you can actually use Resort to intentionally have it be popped at the end phase for Sleeper. I just thought that was kind of cool. Uh, because usually it's a bad thing if you can't use Resort to shuffle back a monster. But in this case, if you really want to, you could do it on purpose, I guess. Um, help Sleeper come out easily. Which is also why I'm running Premature Burial. A, because it's a quick fix. B, because if I need to, I can use it for the intention of getting Sleeper out more easily, or possibly even on that turn. Um, which also goes great when I'm trying to link someone for a Spiral Sleep, uh, I'm sorry, Double Helix. Uh, and then, also, you can use it to shuffle back, since it doesn't say Spiral Monsters, you can actually use it to shuffle back cards like Maxi and Ash Blossom and just any any. It doesn't specify what card it is. All it does is it tells you that you cannot use it to shuffle back a spell or trap. It doesn't say you have to shuffle back a spiral monster. It says any monster. Well, it doesn't say any monster, but since it doesn't specify that it doesn't have to be limited to spiral monsters, you can shovel back any monster. So he's like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, wow, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this video is just coming off completely stupid, but, um, I'm being limited on the amount of coffee I have, and, it, well, I can't have coffee, and I can't have, uh, I can't have coffee and tea, uh, 
It's for uh, medication I'm taking. Uh, my doctor is awesome. <laughs> if you guys don't know, uh, my my life uh, in terms of liquids revolves around vitamin water. Um, the Vito vitamin water or whatever it's called. Um, fruit punch is generally my favorite. And then also uh, coffee and tea. Um, so, of course, with the two of those three things being taken away from me, uh, my life is basically garbage. Com also, considering that I like Three Musketeers and Reese Cups and chocolate and he's like, yeah, no caffeine, no sugar. I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, uh, so anyway, there's that. Um, which also, of course, affects how much time I spend, uh, actually sounding proficiently educated in my videos, because, of course, I spend so much time researching my videos, I usually don't sleep, and that's why I come off as stupid as I, I sound. Anyway, um, moving on, uh, he's like, Activating super agent, and I'm like, nah, because I've already protocol would mess that up. He's like, correct, it's like Milu, unless you have Ash, and I'm like, nah, not in hand at least. Uh, he's like, all oh, true. And he's like, guess you can't stop that then. I'm like, nope, but according to Yugi, my friendship powers can, which is ironic because I don't really have any friends. And then, and he's like, no, foiled by friends again. And he's just like, uh, second effect, I'll get super, da 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 da, -da game goes on. And then it's at the end of game one, I'm just like, I fit my avatar's effects to destroy our cards on the field. And then he's like, negate with Proto, but wait, friendship negates Proto, but Proto can't be negated. Oh boy. Oh boy. And, I mean, I, I was literally, I wasn't on the floor laughing, but I was actually laughing for the two, three minutes. Um, so, I draw, and game two is where I just felt like I was going to lose. I opened up literally triple spiral, triple spiral resort, which is why I don't run, he's like, Jesus, man, you're right, I'm like, dude, that's what I'm saying, he's like, this is why I don't like learning field spells, I'm like, yeah, this is why I don't like learning terraforming, because having six field spells doesn't work out too well, he's like, yeah, fine enough, and, and you guess me after you resort, resort was a mistake, because uh, I tried using resort, since that's half my hand. And there's its effect to add. He activates mistake. And I'm like, well, I guess you could say me using resort was a mistake. Okay, bad point. Okay, okay gotcha. And then he's just like, mistakes have been made. <laughs> mistakes are made. And I just, oh, oh my god, I have too much fun with this. Um, I set two. I set mirror and solemn strike. I used to run. Magic Cylinder and Mirror Force as my, I guess you could call it my staple cards that made me kind of like special or whatever. Everyone has their own special tech card, those are my two cards. And I started uh, running Quaking instead, because that's just an amazing card. Um, but then, with the Spiral Dominant meta, you, there's no point in it, because they can just crap out as many Link Monsters on the field as they want. So... There's no real reason you should run it, since Link Monsters can't be set. So I just run Mirror Force to pop them, and that's why I run Mirror. So, um, I just, I'm an idiot again, because I don't want to cough, because I'm not thinking, because my eyes are bloodshot, because I don't sleep. Anyway, whatever. It's a candidate, I didn't even say that in the right order, but whatever. And he's like, oh, he's like, yo, idiot. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? You okay? You retarded? Uh, uh, resort's supposed to pop itself. I'm like, oh. Right. Yeah, so here I'm just telling him my hands, because he's a cool guy, and at this point I don't care about winning. I'm just telling him what my hand is. That way, he just, he, he knows I can respect a mutually cool guy. Like, I, it's, it's kind of a mutual respect thing going on here. So I'm like, at this point I have triple resort, double fully armed. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've... I have triple resort, um, because I had two resort, I drew into my third, and I had fully armed, and then, of course, I also had machine dupe in hand, um, and then, over time, I just, uh, it, it was terrible, it, I mean, this was probably the worst hand of all time, um, and I think I even get into that a bit later, 
And he's, and he tries to reach and he's like, Jesus, and, and now mistake hurts me too. Which I didn't even realize mistake was a two-sided thing until, like, 30 minutes ago. But, you know, whatever. And then he's like, and of course, I draw Max C, and that's when I watch it. And like, but it's better than, like, you know, Big Red, and I'm like, eh, yeah, sure. It's like, but my deck doesn't stash us on the march. Uh, but that's not true, because he runs the Paley's Open, during which he, uh, admits to later. And he's like, actually, swapping that out may not have been a bad idea, because it draws on the Kaijus, but that's pretty much it. So, and, and, and he's like, and like, so basically, the entire extra deck is just meta hate. And he's like, I, I've escaped it, but that's all my extra deck is for. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna have to assume by scapegoats, he just means that, uh, it's just targets for his ghost, uh, his ghost reaper on your cherries. I'm assuming that's what he means, because of course you can't put actual scapegoat tokens in your extra deck, unless, uh, no, I mean, actually, is that where they go? I mean, they can't go on the side. I think tokens just go on the, just go separately all by themselves. Uh, because that'd be kind of stupid if they are counted as part of your side. No, no, they're not part of kind of your side or extra deck. No, they wouldn't be. They'd be like, <sighs> oh my god. Anyway, well, I'm just so stupid without my coffee. Anyway, um. <laughs> I remember saying that. Yeah, like, man, considering part of greed and graceful charity is a thing, I could just imagine how great that would have been if Maxi was in GOAT format. Oh my god, that would have been, oh, the draw power. The draw power, though. I'm like, <laughs> you would have been Exodia faster than Yugi, and that's saying something. It's like, faster than that guy, that's not even possible. And I draw an Ash Boss, I'm like, why? And I reveal it to me, like, Jesus, I'm like, my deck hates me, and my junk school either. I find that that's a lie, because... He's one of those cool people that actually reveals his hand and mills and his face downs. Uh, and of course, he, he will mill the top card of this deck just to see what he would have drawn. I do the same thing, but it's nice to know that I'm not the only person who does that. Um, I'm actually blessed with all the nice and cool people I meet, because pretty much everyone I meet does that. But, I mean, it, that really is a rare trait, I'm, I'm telling you that. I'm like, well, I got a mantra, it's not a hand trap. Problem is it's sleeper. He's like, man, you can't win. And he's like, just stared down as he turned it off. And I was like, yes, this this stalemate is real. And he's like, I need to draw a monster, and I'm like, and I need to draw a decent one. And he's just going off with all his combos, and I didn't, I I I was again, I was an idiot. I forgot he was running paleos in his deck. So, I just use it on my turn, because I'm like, dude, at this point, I need a draw. I don't care how half-decent you even have it. I don't know. Uh, even... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I, I don't know how to say this. At this point, um, I... At, the, at this point, I was like, I don't care how bad of a card I draw. Because I need to draw something even if it's a half-assed or half-decent card. It doesn't matter. I, mean, I just need something. And for nothing else, it deck things to get me the better cards. So I, that's just why that's going on. And I'm like, is it? Eh, I'm going to hit him in there. And <laughs> he's like, hey, I found a way for you to use your Ash. I would have done this fight if you didn't show me Ash. And I'm like, mistake doesn't... And I'm like, mistake? And again, of course, I'm being an idiot because I forget mistake doesn't stop drawing. Like, you might as well put a T, uh, I correct myself later, uh, you might as well put a TR in front of Ash to represent my hand, uh, quite trash indeed. Uh, you see, and that's where he just admits his hand was actually fairly good. I'm like, so I'm done, and I thought there was an R in front of that for some reason. It's like, no apologize, it's cool, I just need to understand what you're saying. I'm trying to break up sometimes. And then I... Finally draw Godly into Super Agent. I go Super Agent into Fully Armed. And I banish three. I get Sleeper. I, I quit Last Resort with Sleeper. And I'm like, 
I I just I just instantly have all the combos. And he's just like, oh, <laughs> scare me. Got the picture. And he's just like, I get the face I'm screwed. And he's like, um, and so I, I that's basically that's basically what game two is. Um, because it just turns out to the point where he can't do anything because my field's so good. That after I pop his two monsters, there is nothing he can do. So, I'm just kind of there, like, attack. And that was and that was the first turn after both get on field. Turn two, attack for game. He's just like, yeah, I have a defeat. Um, which I, I later find out he has provision in hand, which he could use to stop Ash. But, eh. um, he has multiple ways to shut out Helix. And then, game three, uh, there isn't too much, uh, there isn't too much for game three, because I just beat him with pure beatdown between Spiral Super Agent and Spiral Tough, both which have 1900, and that's basically what adds up to kill you in two or three turns, so, <laughs> so that's just basically how I win, um, he does use Prohibition after my Spiral Super Agent is on field. And then I have I have Tough in hand. I draw into a second. And I'm like, so does Prohibition actually stop Tough? Because, I mean, obviously it doesn't affect the fact that Spiral Super Agent's already on my field. But does it stop me from playing the Toughs in my hand? So we spend five, ten minutes looking at rulings. He offers to call a judge. And I'm just like, no, nah, it's fine. I'll look up. And according to the TC, I, I'm sorry, the OCG rulings, I shouldn't be able to. But because it doesn't state that it's also called Super Agent while in hand, then that means I'm able to play it. Um, because I find that, I find this out kind of a cool way. Not only do T, for TCG, OCG rulings also apply. But in addition to that, Prohibition means it uh, states, it doesn't directly state it, but your opponent cannot play cards from extra deck, hand, deck, graveyard, or wherever. They just cannot straight up play them if it has the declared card name. And there's some other cool card ruling, ca cool card rulings there. I'm sorry, I, I really am brain dead without my, uh, without... <laughs> Without my coffee. It's probably the eighth time I said that or something, but really. It's, I, I just feel you guys need to know why this is probably my worst put together video. And why I sound half brain dead. Um, because <laughs> it's been about two days since I've actually had more than like, what, an hour and a half of sleep. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try and get this video done because this guy needs to realize how, well, more like, Everybody needs to realize how awesome this guy is. Um, and, and he's like, do or die, and he's like, oh, I just die. And it was just a classic seamless plug, and, um, and he's just like, GG, and we're just having some after game talk. Um, and he's like, I'm a good player, da 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 da. Uh, again, just some more after game talk. And I'm like, I'm thinking we could do a circuit bike set duel, which is actually, I just came up with this on the fly, but it's actually a series I'm thinking I want to make, where I essentially just pick a random set, and we use cards or archetypes exclusive from that set, and we use that as kind of our decks, you know? Like rockets and um, ultrageists from circuit break, or... If it's a, or, uh, if it's a set that includes the start of a new archetype, we can use cards from either a previous set or two that has support for it, even if it doesn't directly relate to the archetype, or also if it has more support in the first two or si first set or two down the road after the initial set that, that introduced it, 
so in that respect, it's kind of like Magic the Gathering, where, um, the series basically revolves around using cards exclusively from a random given set, and then any set or two down the road from either after the said set's release or before the said set's release, so... That's going to be a cool series that I really want to start introducing. I'm like, well, maybe you could uh, be my series cooperator or something you wouldn't mind. Just extremely I mean, due to my stress and get based from time to time. But I'll help out I can. I'll make sure. Sounds great. Thanks for a fun duel. And uh, that was basically it. So, I mean, this this guy is just awesome. Um, if you play Duel Book, please, please, please go ahead and remind him how awesome he is because... He's, he's not arrogant. He's not going to think himself as an awesome person, but he needs to realize how much I appreciate him. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your host, Carlos Phoenix, signing out. See you guys next time. Have a good one.